got this eight millimeter film projector from a charity shop last week. It had been untested, it was sitting on a pile. They don't normally sell you the untested gear. I got it for $20. Um, and if the guy had have tested it, he would have thrown it in the bin because it didn't work. It needed uh, belts replaced, which I'll show you shortly, but it does work. It has a little built in screen um, and it also does project onto a, um, a screen if you have one. Just pull this out and it will project onto the wall. Um, down at the charity shop they had no way of testing it, they didn't have any, any film. Uh, my dad has film so I grabbed that off of him and uh, made it work. It's capable of playing sound and recording sound. Um, I don't have any film that has sound on it, so I can't test that part of it. Uh, but there's a few little things that need attention, but you'll see here the take-up wheel needs a bit of a hand, especially with longer film. This one here is a very short one. But with the longer ones, you've got to really maintain that that keeps rolling on, otherwise it'll come undone. Um, I will rewind it and show you also there is um, a threading issue. It's supposed to be an automatic thread take-up. Um, but you have to kind of help it along a little bit. So, film goes on to here, snaps on, you press this down and thread the film into here and what it's supposed to do is you just click on forward and it will thread it through, I'll show you, thread it through here, over the sprockets, down past the lens, down through here, underneath the audio heads, back here, underneath these sprockets up this path here and onto the take-up reel. Uh, it doesn't do that automatically. It does need a bit of a hand. And if I can find my tool. Let's see. Push it in. There it goes. And it bunches all up down here. So I'm going to rewind it. Lift up the heads. Thread this through. Hopefully, it will take it past. No. Well, that was a disaster. Try again. Normally, once it gets past that second sprocket, it's, it's all good to go. This one here. Let's try again. Looks good this time. There it is, take it up. Something going wrong here. There we are. So like I said, there on top of this take up reel, some film takes up a little better than others, but it does work. If you've got old film, certainly be viewed on this thing. <laughs> mm. 
when I first got it, it was all out of whack. The screen was focused or projected off to the side here, and uh, you couldn't make it full screen. I had to adjust the positioning of the lens itself, and then I was able to uh, get a full screen and it was focused pretty much. There is some fibre in there somewhere. I'd like to get that all blown out and clean, but that's another day. Now, to once the film has been played, the way that you're supposed to rewind it is to take the film from here, make sure that you thread it back onto the reel properly, and there it goes. You can, of course, play it in reverse, but we want a fast reward. Here's the insides of the guy. You can see the big flywheel here that comes off very simply. It's just got a clip on there, washer pops off and uh, the motor, also a fan here, the little thing slides back, you're able to easily slide on a new belt onto this pulley here, and up here for the take-up reel, there's a belt there, and another belt here as well. So three belts, and it was all done. So, like I said, the guy down at the charity shop would have turned it on, nothing would have been moving, and he would have put it in the bin. Thanks for watching.